Innovation comes from making some unexpected connection, realizing that we've been thinking about treating cancer one way, say with small chemicals, and we could treat it some entirely different way by tricking the immune system into attacking cancers. Where does innovation come from? It comes from hearing some remark at a meeting or at a bar or reading a paper that says, oh, here's a way to build a device and realizing I have exactly the right application for that device. And where does innovation come from? It comes from undirected looking at huge piles of data, looking for patterns and realizing one afternoon there's a really important pattern hiding in the data that you've missed. Innovation is about seeing what somebody hasn't seen before. By definition, there's no recipe for doing it. It takes hundreds of people looking in all different ways. It takes diversity. It takes the insights that come from trained researchers and the insights that can only come from patients themselves who have lived the experience of cancer. It takes all of these people bringing together those insights to really make change. So innovation makes hope real. You look around and you see patients today who are getting treatments and diagnostics and options that weren't even conceived of 10 years ago and didn't exist four or five years ago. It tells you that's gonna to continue to keep happening. We've been seeing it happen for the last two decades, a steady succession of improvements in the information we've got, the treatments we've got, the diagnostics, and we see it changing every year. Now, I admit, it's frustrating. At any given point for all of us, we're frustrated that we don't have today all of the tools that we're gonna have 25 years from now, but it's getting better and better every year, and that is what drives hope. There's hope for patients today, knowing that tomorrow's treatments, and I mean tomorrow and next year, will be better. And there's also hope for all of us, knowing that for the next generation, the experience of cancer will be a very different experience. So innovation is the driver of hope. Indeed, it's the only driver of hope. We need to make things better. We can only make things better by doing things different. And tens of thousands of people around the world are collaborating together to try new ideas, get them out to patients into the clinic as rapidly as possible, and we are seeing every day the results of that effort.